ringlets. If you love them, I'm gonna show you how to get them without a curling iron, without a bunch of ribbons tied in your hair, without rollers that you have to sleep in or walk around in all day long as they slowly dry. It's going to be so easy and so instinctual, you're gonna go, ah, how did I not already know that? Or maybe you already did, and maybe you think it's still taking too much time. I'm gonna show you not only how to get easy ringlets anywhere you are, but also how easy it is to do anywhere all day long. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is obviously moist hair. You don't want it dripping wet, but you don't want it to have started drying yet either. So get out of the shower, mop up the moisture, and while your hair is still wet, let's get started. Like I said, this is gonna be so easy, you are seriously gonna say, why did I even watch this? But stick around because it is so easy, you can do it all the time and I'm gonna prove it to you, I'm gonna show it to you. Um, and so this will make ringlets or even if you're into the clean dreads, you know, the, I, I love dreads, but I don't like the fact that it always looks like broken off pieces of hair glued together, but I like, I like the way it falls and I like the look. So this also, if you don't break apart the curls, can end up looking like a clean version of that. So step one, well, you want to take the tangles out of your hair. Actually, you don't have to. A lot of times I don't, but then I regret it later on because there will be all these little stray, natty parts. As you can see by how well I do it, I don't brush my hair often. In fact, when I sleep, I usually sleep with my hair all wound up top so when I, I can wake up and it's not like I messed it up at night. I like that. I'm lazy. Let's pretend I brushed my hair proper. Now I'm going to split it in sides and the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to remember which way the curl went for each side. Um, if you don't split it in sides, make sure you're going all the same direction, like pick a direction and go that way. In this case, I am going to, I'm going to part a section and once you get really good at this, you really don't even need a mirror, honestly. But, and I don't want too small of sections because otherwise I really get that uh, dreadlock look and I find I get a nice lush curl if I have a slightly bigger section. It is very opposite of using a hot iron where you want a smaller section to get a good curl. Here, a good sized piece of hair will do it. So all I'm doing is I'm twisting it. See, <laughs> how easy, right? The trick is to keep doing it as it dries because the center is wet and the outside dries. So, and also it relaxes because you're not pinning it because if you pin it, again, the center's never going to get dry. Well, not never, but you know how you have to like leave curlers in overnight for them to work because you have to like so long time to dry? Well, this way your hair can dry at a much more normal rate because it's not being locked into that shape. You're letting air flow through it, but then you're reminding it of its shape. So in this case, all of this side is going this way towards my nose and all of this side is going this way towards my nose. See? So, you know how we used to like make fun of people who thought they were all that and we'd go, ooh, right? There's a reason. Southern Bells were caught doing this all the time. Why? Because they liked their ringlets and this is a good way to make ringlets. Trust me, they weren't born with those. You know the damage hot irons will toll on your hair, if that makes sense, will toll on your hair, the toll it will put on your hair. And you don't wanna go through that all the day. I mean, you wanna look beautiful every day, but every day is gonna kill your hair. Well, this way you don't need to hot iron it and you don't have to wait or sleep in rollers all night because who wants to turn around to their mate and go, ooh, baby, sexy, right? You want some of this? No, here you get out of your shower, you give yourself some twists and when I'm done with this, I am going to show you how easy it is just to keep it going, whether you're going, or like say for example, today I've got an appointment. I've got to leave as soon as I am done here with this. Well, I'll get clothing on. And then I am going to leave. My hair won't be dry by that time. I won't have had time to do anything. And you know what, come to think of it, had I used a hot iron, my hair still wouldn't have been done in time because I seriously got to go. I need to be out the door in 15 minutes. So, 
while I'm driving, my hair will finish itself. Now I'm repeating myself because that's how much of a fan I am of this. And I'll tell you what, in the beginning, and I didn't show you this, I'll show you on the other side. In the beginning, my hair was a little bit more resistant in a few places. And that's another key factor, okay? One thing you need to expect, and actually let me get closer for this too. So you'll see up here, once I get all the knots out, you'll see this hair is pretty darn straight. So it doesn't like to hold a curl well. You know, if you have straight hair, it doesn't hold curls well. So, oh, that is awful. <laughs> I told you I don't have experience brushing my hair. Okay, so. It probably took a week of me doing this before my hair started to go, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And now it holds much better. Yes, I still have to remind it as it goes along, but it really does hold much better. In the beginning, you're really gonna have to fight the straight hair. But if, like in the back of my head, hold on, you're gonna see I got some curl back here. Get to the side where you can see it. All that curl, it's weird, straight, curly. It's like I'm two people here. Anyways, so this part here, from day one, it said, oh, I know what to do, okay. And it took that shape instead of the kinky shape it's normally gonna be. And I'm gonna show you what my hair will look like if I don't do this. Actually, I'm gonna show it here so I should stand right here. I'm gonna show you what my hair would look like normally if I don't do this. Now this is obviously taking me longer than it normally would because I, well, you know, when you do something in front of a camera, it always takes so much longer. But all I really did was group out these sections here. So now as I go along, I am, again, I personally have chosen to go inward. Oh, this is not a good look right here. <laughs> this is my face. So I go inward. So I'm just going to remind the curl, tighten it up a little bit, but then it's gonna relax a little bit and let some of the inside dry. But as it relaxes a little bit, I'll come back in and I'll just give it a little bit more tightening. And as it dries, it's gonna do more and more in this position. Actually, I don't like the part right here. I'm gonna fix that. And it doesn't matter if say the twist mixed in with another one, I'm still twisting in the same direction. So it's still gonna work. But this way, the hair dries at a reasonable rate, so you don't have to do anything different. Let's say you do uh, Naked and Afraid. Uh, you're not allowed to bring anything with you but one tool, and you chose a knife because you're smart and you want to survive. You can still have great hair. You just go in the river, wet your hair, come out and twist it, and as it dries, you will have your ringlets, all Southern Belle style. All right, so we don't look like much right now, but as I go on and right now I actually have to hurry up and get dressed like my watch I have to hurry up and get dressed and go to my appointment and by the time I get there my hair will have dried and I will have ringlets come with me so what I want to call your attention to here aside from my driving is the fact that I continuously wind my hair around my finger and you're thinking oh my goodness do I ever get to stop well, yeah, look, it's already formed here. The only reason I keep doing it myself is, well, now it's a habit. But really, it's because I have discovered that as I twist, I am lubricating my hair. I'm sort of like redistributing the oils. Do you remember back in the day when women were told to brush their hair a hundred strokes with a boar brush? And it was to, to redistribute those oils to make sure your hair was conditioned. And I really believe that's happening to me because after a week of this, I started noticing the tips of my hair were softer. And so maybe it was just coincidence, but I'm sold. So sometimes I just twist it a little bit longer than I need to. And on days like this one turned out to be, which was a very hot and humid day, your curls are never going to be as distinct as they otherwise might be. But... Even under those conditions, my hair stayed, um, I guess, clumped together, I guess you'd say, as the curls sort of bind together, which eliminated the uh, frizzy look that I would normally end up with on such a hot and humid day. Okay, well, I'm here. Let's see. Mostly dry. My hair takes a long time to dry. It's mostly dry, but you can see 
perfect little ringlets forming. So when it breaks up, I will still have perfect little ringlets. So that's how to curl your hair. I brought a Brett. <laughs> Too bad I don't know how to use them. Oh, that's awful. One day I am going to fool somebody into thinking I know all about fashion. I hope you're the first one who believes me. Yeah. All right. Let's get in there. I'll see you guys later. See, montage baby. I told you I'd show you how easy it is. You can do it anytime doing anything, almost. So clearly once you have your ringlets, you can wear your hair, well, all sorts of cute ways. Sometimes I'll leave it down, but days like today was so hot and sweaty, I ended up putting in a pigtail. But you can see you get really lovely curl. Breaking it all apart. I can't tell what it looks like back there, so tell me. Is it good? Did it work? Did I, I, I can't see back there. Is it good? All right. Okay, ladies, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you today and I would love to see you back. So I'm going to ask you pretty please subscribe, ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you should get notifications, which means you get to be one of the first ones to comment, which means I'll see your comment and well, that'll make me happy. I just got invited out to dinner, which never happens. I'm sorry. We're always like, Hey, what'd you make for dinner, mom? I'm going to go to Chewy's for dinner. So that means I should actually brush this mop again. Full disclosure, I know it sounds gross, but all day long, it's 100 degrees out there. If you've done all that and you find some areas that uh, didn't take as well, like for me, it's always these top back pieces. I don't know if it's because I neglect them or if it's because they're stick straight and I haven't trained them yet, but here's how you use a flat iron to do the same thing. And I try not to do this because I love my hair. I don't like frying it, but I'm going out to dinner. Okay, hold on. So you just kind of do that and then pull it straight through. Probably a little bit slower and with a much smaller piece. And yet another ringlet. Yeah, definitely smaller pieces will get prettier ringlets. I feel like now I really have to do it right. I've got something to prove. All right. Forgive me, hair. Do one up front for you. Okay. Same types of ringlets. Super cute. All right, girl, go impress them. This has been great. I am so glad you stuck around and I really hope you subscribe and we can talk again another time. In the meantime, tell me, do you like ringlets? What's your favorite hairstyle? And how do you get your hair curled? Do you like this way of doing it without burning your hair? If you like videos about hair, click that thumbs up down there because Google's algorithm will then know to give you more of the same type of videos. So after that, you don't even have to go hunting. It'll start populating for you. Ooh, look at this person's hair. Ooh, look at that person's hair. You'll find stuff you didn't even know you were looking for. So. I'll see you in the next video, guys. I, oh, wish me luck at dinner tonight. Also, does this look sexy?